Hello everyone! Today I want to show you 13 clever kill spots on Consulate in Rainbow Six Siege. This is going to be the first video in a whole series where I go around all maps showing you all the cool spots I found. Starting off in the second floor in the administration office, we're going to start opening a hole right here into the floor. And this is going to open up the window where people really like to peek in when the objective is in that room. And you're going to be able to peek them up from above and just snipe them with your shotgun or your SMG. This is really good because from the outside you cannot really see it. You can see it a little bit up there, but it's not too big and uh, people are going to be focused on the room itself. Alternatively, you can just open up the window right next to there in the copy room and just throw a C4 down and it's going to kill pretty much anything down there. This here is an old clip where I do exactly that and oh look, a triple! Another really good way of doing that is doing it from the other side. Just go below the window, blow open this spot right here. And they will not be able to see you unless they hop in. And when they hop in, it's already too late. And again, you can use the same thing to peek from above into the room below, which is a really common spot for campers, which like to hide behind the shield. And also the hostage is located down there as well. Next up, we're in the meeting room, above one of the bomb spots. And we're going to be opening up this floor, which lets us peek into the main lobby, more specifically into the main entrance. With this one, you need to be a little bit more careful, because there's two windows right above you. Also, you have two entrances into the room on the opposite sides, so this is pretty hard to guard. But if you have a friend that can watch out for you, then this should be no problem. If you ever played that objective, you know that they often come from the front door and just plant the diffuser inside the door. We are gonna prevent that because as soon as they step in, they will get a shotgun to the face. You can see it pretty well from the outside. They're gonna have to scan pretty much the entire room and they will not have the time to check the ceiling as well. Right next to that, again, you can open up the floor to see into a window this time where uh, it's not that common that people peek there but sometimes you have someone but then you are there and you have the advantage. Next up, we are in the archives and we're going to be opening up the ceiling right here. And it's going to reveal one of the main entrances. You can just sit there and look up and they're not going to notice too much because again, they're going to peek into a full room. But you can also just smack a C4 on there. When you see some movement, you just blow it up for a free kill. Back in the copy room in the second floor, we're going to be opening up this floor right here. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use sledge a lot. You can peek into pretty much the entire hallway from here and just pick off anyone who walks by. From downstairs, you see pretty much nothing. We are gonna play hide and seek now. You can just hide in that reception desk right here. And it is really difficult to see you. You can only be seen from certain spots. And most of the time people just walk around it. And you can just come in from behind for a cheeky kill. There's another one where you can just hide behind this desk here. And the enemy can only see you when they walled over it, or when they come in from the side. But if you sit completely still, they're not gonna hear you, but you can hear them. Use that to your advantage. This one is a little bit harder to pull off, but not impossible. You can just slap some C4 on that hatch, and you blow it up as soon as someone steps into the hallway. One of my favorite spots is up here, where you can just shoot or smack the floor open. And you are going to be able to see the whole garage door from there. Again, from the outside, you're going to be focused on what's actually happening inside the garage, and you're not going to have the time to check the ceiling as well. And the last spot I'm going to be showing off is in the western skylight, where even though the wall is reinforced, you can just blow up the upper part of it and get a nice view inside of there. You can also lob a grenade or two into it, but don't kill the hostage with it like I did. You can also thermite the wall, but be careful, be sure to have a teammate covering your butt. Actually, I'm not quite done. Here's some bonus clips. This one is not really map specific though. Use shotguns to blow open the floor around the hostage. Just for convenience and speed, I'm gonna use sledge here. Then hop one floor below and keep an eye on it. The enemy will not be able to capture it without you getting a few shots off. Again, not map specific. You can shoot pretty much anything that makes music. Radios, jukeboxes, or in this case the speaker. And did you know that you can shoot the spiral staircase camera from outside? Thanks for watching! I am so sorry for the terrible mic quality, but good microphones are really expensive and I can't really afford one right now. Regardless, I'm gonna try and give you the best viewing experience I can offer. Anyways, did you learn something new today? 
If at least one of these spots is new to you, why not give it a like? If you knew all of those already, just give me a dislike. Which one of those did you like the most? Do you have anything to add? Which map do you want next? Tell me in the comment section. Until next time, see ya. Nice job. Keep it up.